It's like going to a rock concert. It's like, you know, that, or, or, or going to hear somebody speak. What do you get from a lecturer that you don't get in the book? Presence, power, excitement, participation, right? This is why rock stars are always confused when they introduce new s- songs on tour and people cry out for the old regulars. They want to experience the rush, the power, right? So when... Uh, Bill Clinton came to campus when, um, you know, if Barack Obama comes to town or the Dalai Lama comes to campus, people who need to be there are demonstrating religiousness type A. Because religiousness type A is participation in power. And the Dalai Lama radiates presence and power. Does this mean that people are going to become Tibetan Buddhists? No. Nobody's interested in the Theravada. They're interested in the sun, I mean, the sand uh, artistry and the mandala and the, ex, the esoteric character, the exotica of the Dalai Lama. But most of all, it's an event. It's a happening. And whenever people think in terms of happening rather than in terms of how can I be a better person today, how can I be a better teacher, how can I be a better whatever, then they're demonstrating religiousness. Eh? So that's, that's what's going on with the Dalai Lama. Oh, I'm sure. But if, if they chatted with the Dalai Lama, they didn't chat with him about theology. The Dalai Lama is not a theologian. He's, you know, he exemplifies... Uh, um, In his subjectivity, the Dalai Lama exhibits type three. That is the type of uh, um, internal purification through Theravada Buddhism, right? The annihilation of the self and so forth and so on. Phenomenologically, he is an instrument of type A. He's a rock star. When he comes to town, everything shifts, right? So when the president comes to any town or city in this country, it's power. Power displaces. So uh, motorcades, streets are blocked, schedules are changed, right? And everything organizes around the perception of power. Maybe not ultimate power, but pretty close. Why do you want to crash a White House dinner party? Access to power. What does access power, power give you? Higher status in the reality TV game. So it's, you know, this is how, isn't this fun? You know, religious studies is so fascinating because, you know, being religious is such a fundamental way of being human. And if we can get the right categories of how to analyze religious behavior, we have one of the great instruments for understanding human behavior that's not simply reducible to economic uh, predictors. Uh, because religious behavior manifests itself quite apart from, I think, social determinism. So you find highly educated people getting giddy with the thought of being in the presence of a powerful religious figure.